Diamond Darmus portrays the late Marilyn Monroe in the new Netflix film called Blonde. It was just released and let me just say the reviews are less than good. First and foremost, I will say that Anna Darmus is getting great reviews for her acting. Of course, she looks beautiful as well, but the film itself is very controversial. A lot of the reviews look like this. This person wrote, just watched Blonde. It puts Marilyn in a box that only allows her to be abused, sexualized, or call people daddy. Extremely strange. Maybe we stop letting misogynistic men try to make groundbreaking films about women of which they know nothing about. Another Twitter user wrote, it's insane that a movie like Nope came out just a month ago, creating a story depicting the horrors of spectacles and exploitation only for September to be filled with the Dahmer series and Blonde. This Marilyn fan shared a reminder. The fan wrote, with the atrocity that is Blonde being released, let's remember Marilyn Monroe's wish during her last ever interview. Quote, please don't make me look like a joke. Here's the full quote. It says, please don't make me a joke. End the interview with what I believe. I don't mind making jokes, but I don't want to look like one. I want to be an artist and actress with integrity. Please don't make me look like a joke. There were a lot more tweets like this one that says, don't watch Blonde, don't watch The Dahmer Show, don't let Netflix think people actually want this stuff, and instead stream content you actually want to see more of so they know what you actually want from them. This fan writes, in a technical level, Blonde is perfect. Impeccable cinematography and score, Anna de Armas gives a chilling performance. But when it comes to the script, the director tried to sell the story of an exploited movie star using, ironically, exploitation instead of compassion. Other people made entire threads on why you shouldn't watch Blonde, the exploitation, the fabricated stories, and false recalling of a woman who could not defend herself and deserves better. This fan created a whole list of reasons why you shouldn't watch it. Number one says, it's fictional. I repeat, it's fictional, only inspired by Marilyn's life. I don't want non-fans to confuse Use it as a biography of Marilyn's real life. You can pause to read the rest. Not gonna lie, I was really excited about this movie, but I can't bring myself to watch it at this point. Let me know your thoughts down below.